Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to blur a face in your video production. Down here in this video, we have a face, and we're going to blur that face out so you can't see who the person is. It's pretty easy to do in Sony Vegas or Sony Vegas Movie Studio. I'm going to show you how right now. First thing you want to do is put your video up on the track that has the face that you want to blur on it. Make sure it's the second video track. It can be the third video track if you want, but you want to have room to have another video track below it. Then over here in the video control box, right click and select duplicate track. What that does, it creates another video track just like the one above it, underneath it. Now on the top video track, we want to go over to the video effects tab and click that. And on the video effects tab, we're going to add in the Sony cookie cutter, which is right here. We just double click it to have it come up. And you can see that this is a plug in chooser and it shows the, the Sony cookie cutter. You can have other effects if you want, but this is the one we're going to work on right now. Then we click OK. Now before we do anything, we want to slide this box over and we want to mute that second video track. And the way we mute it is we click this button right there and it makes that track invisible. And then with our cookie cutter, we want to select a circle as a shape and then cut away all but section. And so that you can see what's going on, put your mouse pointer somewhere on the screen and use the size to see the size of the circle. And you notice as I move this, the circle closes down and it's cutting away everything except for that circle. And now that we have a circle about the size we want, we're going to use this tool right here to move that circle over the face. Now we don't have to use a circle, but the circles usually work best. What we can do is we want to, we can use an oval, we can use a rectangle, we can use a diamond, and any of these that actually work best for you, you can use, but I prefer the circle. And then once you have the circle the way you want, you can change the size of the circle to fit what you want. And again, that's what we have. We can position that exactly where we want it to blur that out. And then we're going to click close to see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. And now we're going to click the event effects tab again. So we want to add another effect. And the way we do that is to use the add plugin chain button right there. And it brings up our effects. And the ones that we want to add is going to be the Sony Pixelate. We click that to bring it up and click OK. And now the Sony Pixelate. And this is what our screen looks like. And we're going to change the amount of pixelation by changing this right here. And you notice that our image is starting to blur out. We've done our horizontal pixelation. And now we're going to do our vertical. And we can get it to where we want it to be pretty good right there. It's pretty good. Now if we want to blur that a little bit in addition to the pixelate, we can go into our plugin chain and add a Sony radial blur. And then click OK. And then use the control to control the radial blur so that we have a blur right there. And now we can close that down. Now if we unmute the bottom track, you can see that the face is blurred out. And as we move this around, you can see that the face is still blurred out down here. We go all the way to the beginning and start, you can see that the face is blurred out. Now you may be wondering what happens when the person moves out of the blur sequence. Like if we move it over here, you can see that at some point he comes out of the blur sequence. So how do you fix that? It's pretty easy to do. We'll go back to our event effects. We'll go to our cookie cutter effect. We're going to put a keyframe right there where we started. And then over here, where the person moves out of the sequence, right there, we're going to put another keyframe. And the way we do that is we just hit plus for the keyframe. And the keyframe is there. Now what we want to do also is to copy that first keyframe and put it right in front of this other one so that it doesn't change until then. And then at this keyframe where he has actually moved, we'll move our blur over. So it actually follows them. So if the person moves a lot, we'll put a keyframe for each time they move, and the blur will follow them around. So if we play that right now, you'll see the blur follows them around. So that's the process of adding a blur. Basically what we did is that we created a duplicate track. We used the cookie cutter effect to draw a circle around the image that we wanted to blur. Then we used the pixelate and radial blur to blur that image out. It's pretty easy to do. It can be very effective if you need to blur images out of a video that you're working on. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another video tip of the week. You can find more like this at my website, www.bmyers. Or you can find 100 more tips like this on my new DVD, 101 Tips and Tricks Using Sony Movie Studio. You can find that at my website. Or you can also find it at Amazon.com.